so much for jumping on here and talking to me because what I wanted to really focus on today was speaking with an athlete who's really going through one of the hardest times, which is an end of a season that happened too soon. And I'm wondering how you've been handling an early season end and especially your senior year. Mm -hmm. Well, we take it day by day. Um, I guess I didn't really ever expect this to happen. I don't think any of my peers expected this either. Um, so when I heard that, you know, after my last day of tryouts, we weren't going to be going back to school for basically indefinitely, um, I, I was I was pretty upset. Um, th there's not really a lot that you can do, but um, it's definitely uh, heartbreaking to not get to play during the first part of my senior season and perhaps the rest of it as well. Did you have a lot of things that you were looking forward to in your season? Were you anticipating a lot of successes and happy memories and moments, it being your last year? Yeah, um, school season is really special because it's it's a nice break from the long club season. Uh, how boys work is we play several months of club from the beginning of the school year until um, around springtime, and then we take a three month month break until the summer, and then we get back to club. So it's always so nice to get to play with my school friends and um, we always have so many memories that we make um, so and additionally there were several um, like accolades that myself and my teammates were looking forward to um, trying to achieve and just goals that we were trying to set um, so it's it's definitely tough to not be able to show everybody what, what we're capable of yeah you're probably grieving just the dreams and the visions that you had for your season and grieving something that hasn't happened is really confusing at times. Do you feel confused why things feel tough or are you pretty clear like this is because I'm grieving something that didn't happen? Well, you bring up an interesting point, which is that it's, it's weird to feel sad over something that, you know, never even happened, but there's certainly the expectation of based off of like prior experiences, like, for myself, um, I was on varsity sophomore and junior year, so I have a, a pretty, you know, thorough understanding of this is what varsity season looks like. And to have that sort of expectation taken away is a huge bummer, to be honest, um, which is why, you know, myself and my teammates have been trying um, not to get too emotional about it. Volleyball is an emotional game, but you know, day by day, like this could all end in, in a couple weeks. So, you know, we're trying not to get too upset, but it's, you know, it's tough. Yeah. What makes this easier and what's been making this harder? Are there different experiences that you have that you're like, okay, this makes the process easy. And then other experiences like, dang, this is really hard right now. Mm -hmm. Um, well, certainly like looking back at, at, um, things will pop up from like, oh, one year ago today, you know, on my camera roll, like, oh, you were at the tournament and you got first place. And that was so fun. And like, you got this crazy hit and your teammates won and everything. And that's, that's really tough because a couple of times I'll just be like looking through my phone and that'll pop up and I'll be, it, it'll just like bring me really down. But, um, you know, the most important thing to remember is that as long as, you know, myself and, and others are safe and healthy right now, because there's a lot, of other stuff going on in the world that is um is bigger than sports like this this is really a time to come together um it's it's not a time to be you know feeling upset about things like this so uh just you know calling my family members and you know spending as much time with friends as i can even though six feet apart and everything like that but um that's what gets uh me through it personally yeah you said something that has been really beneficial to people in time of sadness and grief, which is to remember that there are times where memories come up and they're painful, but then there's also feelings and memories of like excitement and happiness and taking it one day at a time, but also just one moment at a time and like letting your emotions be high and then low. And then also you said something that I thought was really powerful, which is you do have a perspective that it is a game, it is a sport, and there is serious risk in the world right now that we don't want to then be using our sport and it causing more problems, you know, spreading more, mm. more of the virus. So 
keeping things in perspective is really powerful too. Like you are doing your part in this world by staying home and taking one for the team in a sense. Yeah. And you've sacrificed a ton. I mean, so many athletes have been just sacrificing their livelihood, whether it's the Olympics or basketball fan franchises or mm. club sports or even everything down to like the gear, right? Like mm -hmm. Nike is taking a hit right now. And all of these things are like a snowball effect. Sure. As an athlete, do you see the, that you're the link in a chain of, you know, a lot of difficult experiences or does it feel like this is like more just like a one man struggle? What do you feel or what do your teammates feel? Um, well, speaking for myself, uh, first and foremost, obviously all these people that I've been looking up to throughout my entire like athletic experience, um, the Olympian, you know, men's volleyball team for, you know, the United States, like just to think about how much they've trained and like gone through. Um, and, you know, game recognizes game. Like they must train incredibly hard and to have the Olympics taken away the 2020, you know, Tokyo Olympics. That must be, a tremendous blow and additionally like for all the seniors in college who um are probably not going to be able to come back and uh, redo that year when they didn't even get to go to the championships for these you know spring sports is that must be devastating um and my teammates i'm sure are feeling the same way like they're avid basketball fans like they must understand oh god like steph curry doesn't get to play anymore that's everybody's feeling it everybody's feeling it for sure what do you feel like some of the big lessons are for you and your teammates right now? Um, I think this is a time that is going to show who is mentally tough and um, who has, I guess, the perseverance and courage to keep on going. We don't have a volleyball court right now to play on. It's, it's not like basketball where we can go outside in the front yard and shoot hoops and, and get better. Um, so it, it's about um, – Keep keeping going even though we don't get to play with our team right now so who's lifting who's running um who's you know keeping positive and I think the best lesson you can take away is you know keep doing those little things and one day we'll get to be on the court and we'll be even better than we were yeah when you say that it reminds me of something that we talk about a lot in the sports world which is the compounding effect where when you do one right thing and you keep lifting, you keep moving, you keep positive, and you keep communicating to your team in those group chats that the compounding effect that you then come out and you're exponentially bigger and better because all of those little moments really mattered and they really counted and you didn't give up. And I've definitely witnessed athletes focus on the physical game the most and the mental game doesn't get as much attention. And now mm -hmm. is the opportunity to really think about this is a mental game. It's less physical now. And there's these micro opportunities to make the right choice and see how we can cash out at the end and come back together as a team and be really successful. And I think that this might be an opportunity for people to really appreciate the mental side of the game. Do you feel like you've been more mentally tough in this or you're gaining more mental strength? Um, I sure hope so. <laughs> um... I, I completely agree with you. Um, I can't speak for all sports, but especially for volleyball, like this is a game of mistakes. You know, you're going to miss some serves. There's, there's not a hundred percent of control that you have in any aspect of the game, in my opinion. Um, and the way that you improve your game is get more mentally tough, you know, understand um, how to keep yourself composed in those times of adversity. So yes, I, I definitely do believe that this is a time of adversity. And um, I think anybody who is keeping those you know positive attitudes is going to get better in these times. Yeah, it sounds like you are really leading from the heart and you're balancing the realization that this is hard and that this is painful yet you stay positive and it's a nice balance to see because sometimes we can become too sad and depressed and not m mobilize ourselves to get better but then we can also kind of be in denial and assume that everything's going to be great and okay and it sounds like your senior year 
that you could really lead your team just by text messages and groups and things like that to really kind of keep them straddling the line and keeping them balanced between those two perspectives. Like that's a pretty hard job. Yeah, definitely. And we've been keeping in contact a lot. Um, we've been doing uh, Zoom meetings and stuff and we have our group chats and we're all, we're all in it together, you know. That's great. So if there was someone listening who is a freshman, sophomore, or junior, and you could say something to them about appreciating what's going to be theirs, their senior year. Um, what would you like to say to them to kind of give them a perspective of what you're going through? Mm -hmm. That's a really interesting question. Um, I guess the first time I realized this sort of general idea is when I was a sophomore on the team and we had just lost our regional game or whatever it was and we were knocked out and wouldn't be playing um, in the school season anymore we'd be going back to club and the seniors who had been on the team for several years were very upset because you know that was their last Stevenson volleyball game that was it for them and I got two more years after that or I guess <laughs> one more year um, but um, and I sort of thought I you know got to make the most out of the time I have left because although it seems like it's unlimited right now it's it's really not everything comes to an end eventually and that goes for um, collegiate careers all athletic experiences they all have to end eventually um, so just work as hard as you can because you're not going to want to look back and be like I wish I could have done that better um, it's a terrible feeling to have and you, it's completely preventable as well so try your hardest yeah and I think learning how to transfer the things you learn on the court to off the court so that when you're off the court day happens even if it is unexpected it's something that I went through with an injury and I didn't return in a matter of one day and I did not um, transfer my skills from on the court to off the court and if there's anything that I could say to athletes is think about what you're learning on the court and develop yourself beyond the court so that you are able to be resilient in these times because we really don't know how long our seasons and our career is going to last. And those who are more resilient are the ones who are able to use what they've learned and keep growing and not fall flat when they all of a sudden realize that things are an end and totally out of control. So it sounds like you have a really great perspective and Next year, I think everyone's going to want to hear what is next for you. Where are you going after high school and what are you going to do with your college experience? Um, well, I'm fortunate enough to be able to go on and play at uh, Loyola Chicago on the men's volleyball team. Um, I'm extremely excited about that. Um, I know I have a lot to learn and there's a great coaching staff, a, a great um, set of guys and, you know, great facilities, all that. Um, I'm so excited to start working. Yeah. I played volleyball at Loyola as well. Go Ramblers. Go Blurs. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for joining me today. And I think you speak for everybody and I really appreciate it. Oh.